Hey Paula and everyone at Craft Philadelphia Cream Cheese. I can't believe this is our last week. I, we've had so much fun these eight weeks. They've just flown by. And now today I'm here to share with you my last recipe, which is our dessert. And I decided to share with you a really great, easy, summertime, nice, absolutely refreshing milkshake. And this is my strawberry Philly cheesecake shake. And you're just going to love it. It is super, super yummy. And I came up with this last week when I was making my Philly sliders and I made some fries and a shake with it. And of course now, every week we have just been thinking Philadelphia cream cheese. So of course I had to come up with a shake that had Philadelphia cream cheese in it. And this is phenomenal. It tastes just like a strawberry cheesecake, but yet it's something super smooth, silky, goes right down. So let's get started. We're gonna have two cups of vanilla ice cream that we're gonna go ahead and stick in our blender. There we go. And then we're gonna add half a cup of milk, about a heaping cup of strawberries here, frozen strawberries, and two tablespoons of honey. Get that out. And this is so refreshing for the summertime. It's just easy. You don't have to heat up that oven when it's hot. And I know everybody's busy running around. You don't have a lot of time to do things. So you just want something quick and easy and refreshing. So I also have here our strawberry Philadelphia cream cheese that we're going to add. Eight ounces of that. Oh, it just smells so good. That strawberries are just so wonderful in there. There we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend this all up. Now while this is blending, you might do a little stretching while we're waiting. Okay, it's not fixing. Hold on. Okay, we're having a little bit of trouble. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of trouble with the uh, mixer here, but let me just scoop this up a little bit. Oh, I think it's working now. We were trying to get a little bit of stretching in while we were uh, waiting and a little, doing a little bit of our happy dance because trust me, you are definitely going to be doing a happy dance when you taste this. This is so good. All right, let me just do one quick more little. Okay, that's good. Now, last but not least, I'm going to throw in a few fresh strawberries because I like just at the end a couple of whole strawberries thrown in there to give it that nice little chunky of strawberries in there so you just kind of taste them when you're biting that ice cream at the end in your shake so good I'm just gonna put these are so beautiful and so big we live over here my dad and my mom um, are farmers and they have such fresh fruit all around them it's so great we have very fortunate to have all the great fresh fruit so I'm just gonna mix <laughs> okay there we go and it looks great we're ready to go ahead and put these in our glasses. I'm just going to fill up our glasses with this wonderful strawberry cheesecake milkshake. It's so wonderful. And you know, just looking at this reminds me of when I was a kid because when we were little, the ice cream truck used to come down to our street on, I think it was like once a week. And we'd hear the sound of that truck just coming with his music and his song and his bells ringing and we thought oh the ice cream truck's here and my sister and my brother and I would go and run and grab any of that change that we had my dad had that little chain bowl and we'd get that change and we'd run down and go up to the truck and the man would be there with all his different ice cream flavors and he'd have a little song and we'd make him sing it every single time it went like strawberry cherry grape and lime and he would go on and on and the very last one was and the green thing he made such a big deal about the green thing but all of us were afraid to try the green thing because it didn't sound very good but my sister of course always wanting to try everything she said i want to try the green thing one time she finally did and it tasted pretty much like scope. None of us ever tried it again. But just, it, I love how certain foods will just remind you of those wonderful memories in your time of your life. I mean, this was like 35 years ago. And to this day, I just look at this ice cream and it just takes me right back to that moment of us running down the street and grabbing that ice cream. And just, you know, that was fun times. So I really hope you enjoy these. I'm gonna top them a little bit here with some extra whipped cream. Ooh, doesn't that look yummy? I cannot wait to dig into these. This is a super, super fast, fun dessert. 
I'm going to top them with a little bit of uh, some strawberry garnish here. Put that on the side. Okay, so I didn't cut this very well. <laughs> there we go. And like I said, super quick, refreshing, tastes wonderful. If you're busy this summer, share this with your family and friends. You can't go wrong with this. Oh, I can't wait to dig in here. This is so yummy. <laughs> look how pretty those look. Oh, and I was also going to say, if you want, you could stick these back into, before you put the whipped cream on them. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. That is so good. If you want to taste like you're eating a cheesecake within minutes and not have to bake it, strawberry cheesecake right here with a Philadelphia cream cheese, phenomenal. Anyway, I was going to finish telling you, if you want to stick them in the freezer, it can be more, a little bit harder like ice cream. Instead of having a shake, you could do that too and then put your whipped cream and strawberries on top. Super, super, super. I know I keep saying that, but I'm not kidding. Fast, easy, fantastic. Thanks for joining me. It's been so much fun these eight weeks. I can't wait to continue with everybody on the uh, cookbook contest that's coming up next. Thank you, Paula and Craft Philadelphia Cream Cheese from the bottom of my heart. This has been a blast. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.